Hi, I'm making a procedurally generated roguelike adventure game where you step into the shoes of a mercenary, tasked with saving kingdoms from evil. Welcome to my second devlog. If you've seen my last video, the game looks completely different now. I've remade all of the in-game assets and chose a completely new color palette. Twice. I want the game to have a dark and moody tone, and I think one of the best ways to show this is through color. On top of this, I also made a lot of new assets. Here are some of them. One big update is that the map layout now includes lakes, instead of just the sandy dirt I had previously. I think this makes the terrain look a little more unique and adds some level of detachment between different parts of the map, making it a little bit harder to explore the entire level. Eventually, I want the maps to be different biomes, like snow-filled tundras, empty deserts, and so on, each with their own unique qualities that affect the gameplay. For example, if you're in a snow biome, you could freeze to death if you don't set up frequent camps or if you don't have winter clothing items on. Anyways, when I first added lakes, they looked completely different. They were visually so out of place because there was no separation between the grass tile and the water water tile. It was just an abrupt color change from blue to green. I did some thinking and thought the best thing to do was to make a coast for all the water tiles that were in contact with the grass tiles. This ended up taking a lot more time than I thought it would. I had to create an auto tiling module that would render the correct coastal tile for the grass as well as for the water depending on the type and color of the surrounding tiles. Then I had to create new assets for each of the possible variations. In the end, I think the lakes of their little coast look really nice, so I'm glad I went through all the trouble of putting it all together. Next, I added the side panel. I want this area to be a very unique and very important part of the game. Up top, I want to display the player icon. I want to create a system where in-game events are reflected on the player. For example, if your character is not wearing a helmet and he suffers damage to the head in battle, then this will be reflected on the character. Likewise, I want the character to have thoughts and emotions. These will be displayed inside of the side panel as well, and they will influence the player icon. For example, if your character is feeling tired and has not slept in a long period of time, the icon might yawn, and if you continue to ignore it, the character will simply fall asleep and you will not be able to move. This means that once you do wake up, you might find some of your items missing. Besides this, I want the side panel to display the map, player stats, their inventory, and some other buttons. For now, I'm still working on organizing this area, so it will definitely have a major overhaul in the future. If you have any ideas for what you want to see in here, comment them down below. With visual updates out of the way, here's a very quick recap of some things I worked on behind the scenes. First, I completely refactored my current game file to use a game state manager. Prior to this, I was just using boolean flags to control the event handling logic and rendering of my game, which is a very bad practice. With a game state manager implemented, I began working on the gameplay state, event interaction state, as well as an inventory state. Finally, I also separated a lot of my code into modules. Because of this, my main game file is a lot shorter and it's easier to work with. My current schedule for this upcoming week is to finish the main functionality of the event interaction and inventory states. As a side note, I'm also posting daily devlog updates on my YouTube Shorts page. Come check it out if you're interested. I'm going to resume them right after this weekend. I think now is a good point to end the video. This is mostly everything that I worked on this weekend, but I did leave out a lot of the programming. If you are interested in that sort of thing, check out my YouTube Shorts. I go a little more in depth about it there. If you have any feedback, leave it in the comments below. I would love to read it. Thank you for watching my devlog video and I hope to see you in the next one.